Hi everybody, I just got home from the native plant nursery because native plants um, and they're very pretty and I was out running errands and this box was on my doorstep from uh, Bakun Musical Services so normally when they send me something I know what's coming so this one I do not so I thought I might as well open it with everybody here um, so let me get out my Swiss Army knife so I can open this up and see um, but yeah I thought we could all do it together and I could stab myself with my Swiss Army knife before um, I find out what it is I should probably be uh, cutting away from myself. So I'll do it this way. Hopefully I don't need to use this box again. So opening it up now, lots of bubble wrap, which will be fun for later. A card, which is super cool. Um, oh my gosh, it's a care kit in here. Um, and then let's see, um, there are things in this envelope, which I don't know what they are. So I will open it up, let's see. I always try and open things up so that if I ever need to put things back together, I'm, um, hey! So when I am um, unwrapping presents, I try and keep all the paper without tearing it to pieces. Um, I had this friend for years, we would just keep reusing the same paper when we were gifting ourselves stuff. It was, oh my gosh, they're tiny little bacoon barrels. Look at this, let's do a giveaway. Um, so I'll tell you what, let me read the card, but I would love to send some of these out to people. These are so cute. Look at this. Hi, Franklin. You've got lag. Um, and then, oh, awesome. It is a water bottle, which is very cool as well. Um, I, uh, I actually had one of these before and I lost it. So this time, he, oh, look at this. This is a beauty right there. Um, so, wow, thank you. Um, and the care kit is amazing too. I'm gonna open that up, so I'm gonna show you what's in the care kit. But I love those little, little, um, those little bells. So I will definitely do a giveaway for those guys. Um, so if you're here and you haven't, hi Tyler, it's so cute. Franklin, oh no, I hope it's not my internet that's snow, slow not snow um but uh comment below and i will do a drawing for some of the bells um there's a pencil and we have oh one of these humidity control packets which are fantastic you can use them in your case for your clarinet i use them for reeds um but not in the summer because virginia is just like a moisture bath in the summer um and some mouthpiece patches this is so sweet i feel like it's my birthday um this is a polishing cloth or a cleaning cloth um which is so awesome um oh there's a pad here and then these little things which say anti-tarnish paper tab. Oh, these are so good. If you don't have one of these for your case, put, um, you can get some and put them in your case and it'll keep your silver from tarnishing. So these are really cool. Um, also, I have noticed that sometimes I have students where their clarinets tarnish because they have um, the pencils in the case and the pencil eraser can cause. Also mouthpiece discoloration too. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This looks like a thing. Um, I'm gonna open this up and find out what it is. It might be a screwdriver. Um, so I should probably not use my teeth though. Um, yes, this is so awesome. This is a little screwdriver. And if um, you don't have one of these in your clarinet case, I highly recommend it. I use mine all the time. Um, and then I'll do the other side and see what we've got here. Um, oh, it's a spring hook. This is so cool. I don't know if you could see that. I'll tilt it a little bit so you can see the edge, but you can use the spring hook for your, um, for when your springs pop out. This is so nice. There's some cork grease because if you caught the, my last, a fix it tool. Yes, Philips Music, um, an almond oil blend. These were all things I was talking about in one of my other videos too, um, and in one of the live streams, um, because you can also use coconut oil, but the almond oil is so much nicer. Um, and um, this is just such a nice treat. And then this little brush here for cleaning out the tone holes, and it's really, it's, um, it's, it's soft, but it's also got some uh, firmness to it, so it's good for cleaning, but it's also not gonna scratch your clarinet, so that's really, really nice. Um, and then I have another, oh, this is a swab. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Bacone, you guys, thank you so much. I'm excited to do a giveaway of these bells. All right, let me see the card. Um, this was a really nice treat. So, oh my gosh, this is from Joel. I love Joel, thank you. Um, oh, it was thanking me for reviewing the Alpha Clarinet. 
I'm glad it made an impression on you. It did. If you haven't watched my Alpha Clarinet review uh, video, please do. It was a lot of fun. I did two. I did a live one, and then I did one where I went outside into the woods um, because I'm a little bit of a nerd, and um, I do, well, it's not nerdy to like to go camping and feel sad that you don't have a guitar to play when I could always just play the clarinet around the campfire, so that's my new campfire clarinet. Um, so a care kit and artist water ball. Thank you. And um, yeah, let's definitely do a giveaway for the little bells because they are so cute um, and I'm gonna pull them up right here and show you again if you're late to this but I just wanted to open that with everybody and show you because it's just so much fun um, and I think I'm gonna pop on over and do this in um, Instagram too so if you follow me on Instagram you might be seeing this twice but um, this was really really nice and I really appreciate it so thank you Bakun that was really nice to send this to me oh you guys well um, thanks for watching this unboxing with me this was a really nice uh, way to uh, start my Saturday afternoon and I haven't um, recorded the video I'm going to release yet today so I'll be doing that before I plant anything so I don't get dirt under my fingernails because um, that's gross but thanks for watching and if Bakun's on here thank you so much I really appreciate it all right bye everybody have a good weekend